some relief may be coming for one of the worst traffic bottlenecks in Austin. Yeah, we're talking about the Wyatt Oak Hill. Scenes of constant traffic snarls, angry, impatient drivers. Today, the city and TxDOT unveiled a short-term fix. Our David Scott has more on their plan and just how much relief it will provide. David? Well, Chris, you know, as more homes have been built up here and more businesses have sprung up, the congestion here at the Y along this five intersection stretch has just gotten increasingly bad. It's brutal, in fact. They've come up with some plans over the years, some of them rather grandiose, but they always seem to fall through or they lack the funding. Well, now, today, TxDOT is unveiling its $5.5 million plan. It would be a short-term fix. They want to adjust traffic signals and, more importantly, add super turn lanes, the idea being to make it easier for the drive-through traffic going straight on through to catch more green lights and flow better. The average rush hour snarl here is nine minutes long. They believe they could cut that in half. How badly is this needed? How overdue is it? It is very badly needed. Anybody that drives uh, southwest on Highway 290 towards the Y and gets to that part where it decks down to one lane knows how badly it seems. Sometimes traffic backs up for two miles yeah. right there. I'm going to get through how much quicker? According to the model, you should get quick through that those five intersections in half the time you do today. Okay. And what would happen if we did nothing five years from now? If you did nothing, your delay uh, amount out there would just continue to grow and to grow. And people would just be sitting in traffic, losing time, spewing emissions into the air, which is not good for anybody. You know, we've been out here watching these cars on old Bee Caves Road trying to make a left onto 290. It's been rather dangerous sporting entertainment. They better be careful. It's a tough one. Now, again, this plan it would be done in two years, but it's a short-term fix. Anything more ambitious it would be years away and much more expensive. We could be talking about flyovers here at the intersection, and I'll have more on that for you at the bottom of the hour. David Scott, KXAN, Austin News. All right, David, thank you.